So what is a good MCAT score? Many pre-meds ask this question or some variant of it, like, my GPA is such and such, what score do I need? Now, I've watched some other videos on the internet on this topic, and they're super vague with responses like, a good score is the score that gets you into med school, or it depends. Okay, that doesn't answer the question though. I'll tell you what I think is a good score a little later in the video, but I'd like to start with some background info to show how I arrived there. So here's a table of scores and approximate percentile breakdowns. I say approximate because the percentiles are actually given in ranges. These data are for all test takers, not applicants, and are taken from a document published by the AAMC detailing the 2011 exam results, and you can find a link to that in the video description. It's pretty interesting. They give section breakdowns and distribution curves and all that good stuff. So check it out if you like. What I have here, I feel, is a pretty good summary, though. Now, the average matriculant at USMD schools scores about a 30, 31, and about a 27 for DO schools. The very top schools typically have an average of 35 and change. Uh, Harvard and Columbia, for instance, do have that info on their websites, and last I checked, their entering classes were around a 35.6. So does that mean a good score is a 36 at the top schools? Well, yes, certainly, but I'd also say that a 33 is a good score, even though it's below average. Having been in the admissions process and heard from schools themselves about how they extend interview offers, I came up with this chart to help visualize how they might determine what a good MCAT actually is. So on the Y, we have weight given towards interview, and on the X is your MCAT score. What I mean by weight given towards interview is, uh, think of it this way. Say there are 20 interview points up for grabs, and you can get up to five of them from your MCAT. Obviously, I just made up these numbers, and I'm not saying this is how it's done. Schools may pull names out of a hat for all I know, but I feel this chart is a good model. So why a parabola and not a line? Well, the state of the admissions process is a vicious and competitive one. Schools are inundated with 5,000 to over 10,000 applications for about 100 to 150 seats in each class. The average applicant applies to 16 schools, and this number keeps going up each year. It's like an arms race. An acceptance to medical school isn't guaranteed for anyone, even those with stellar stats, so they apply all over the place as well. In this situation, you can't expect the medical schools to simply choose based on those with the absolute highest MCAT and GPA alone, else more qualified applicants would be rejected than are currently. Basically, this has led to a situation which each school decides upon a cutoff and then starts to treat applicants above that cutoff more or less the same stats-wise. Uh, so that's why I went with the parabola, because it gives a numerical representation of that cutoff. At some point, the slope begins to level out such that a 33 versus a 38 does not get counted the same as a 28 versus a 33. So I said a 33 is a good score, and on this chart, that gets you 4.2 out of 5 interview points, and compare that to the average of 35.6, which nets you about 4.5. Those weighted values are pretty close, and that's why I said a 33 is a good score at any medical school. So what's a good score at schools outside the top tier? Well, shift the parabola left. While how much the parabola shifts depends on every, any given school, I'd say that a score of 30, assuming it's balanced, is a good score for most MD schools. As I said earlier, that's right about the average for matriculants and just sneaks into the top quartile of all test takers. Now, what does this chart imply? Well, it certainly implies that a good MCAT is necessary but not sufficient to get an interview or acceptance. Probably likewise for GPA. It also implies that extracurriculars matter a ton. The human element is a big part of med school admissions. That's not to say a good MCAT doesn't help. It certainly does, but once you're above a certain threshold, any extra points start to matter less. So to sum up, those videos I mentioned at the start weren't completely useless. They're right, it does depend. It depends on the school's average and how much weight they give to it. But as a general rule of thumb, if your MCAT score is in two points or so of a given school's average, it's a good score.